Hey, the amazing artwork of Michelangelo is being shown up close and personal at the Gerald R. Ford Presidential Library and Museum. The frescoes from the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel are being displayed in their actual size, just not so high up. Those looking to catch a glimpse and learn the stories behind each of those frescoes and more, they're not going to want to miss this. Take a look. When you come to the Gerald R. Ford Presidential Museum, uh, it makes sense that you'd see things presidential, <laughs> but you're going to see something spiritual, uh, something artistic, something from Michelangelo waiting for you at the museum. Brooke, why did we bring this to the Presidential Museum? Why is this here? I think that we saw an opportunity to bring the, a little bit of Italy to Grand Rapids, <laughs> uh, bring a, a world-renowned exhibit to life, and um, make it available to Western Michigan. And people are asking Brooke and me, why is it would a, that a Presidential Library Museum would host something like this? And of course, you go back and look at President Ford's life. You look at his commitment to uh, the free world and you understand why he would be at the center and approve of an exhibit like this. He lived in the White House for Pete's sake. The White House is a museum. Not many people realize it is a major American art museum. And then you look at the fact that within one year of his becoming president, he went to Rome and he met with the Pope, Pope Paul VI at that time, and they had a conversation about preserving the values of the free world. Well, you look at these incredible images around here. These are the values of the free world that are expressed, artistic expression, the, the values that are really eternal to Western civilization are expressed in the 16th century frescoes here. What is a person who comes to this exhibit going to experience? You're going to see the frescoes from the Sistine Chapel. You're going to see the frescoes up close and personal. These, um, they used high definition photography to make um, these, these panels and so people are going to be able to see every brush stroke, um, every, everything that you would normally be seeing, you know, from above. Right, <laughs> like, without getting a crink in your neck from right, looking up. Exactly. Right, I got you, sure. <laughs> up close and personal, I mean, we're talking, you can get right up to these things. You can. And the thing I like about it is it's such an amazingly intricate piece of work, that, that, that entire chapel's ceiling, right? To be able to break it down little bit by little bit, these cards, I, <laughs> for me, are a lifesaver, right? Because if I'm just looking at it, I might not know the story. Sure, I know that's probably the Ark, so Noah's involved over there, but some of these stories, Haman's punishment, I might not know about. Right. So you've got these great cards that kind of explain what people are yes. looking at. When you look at all the different images and the stories, here, you're, you're actually re-entering a world that people used to be familiar with. Mm -hmm. And so they would come into the Sistine Chapel and they would enjoy the images and know the stories. Mm -hmm. But of course, now in the 21st century, we need the, the placards and labels yes. to help us understand the stories. If you wanted to dive, take a deep dive into these frescoes, Martin, he's the guy to talk to. Martin, let's talk about the Sistine Chapel first, okay? Right. When people go there, what are they seeing? Well, what they're seeing is, well, first, the, the first thing they see is a long line. <laughs> and, uh, and then they, you know, you can get into the Sistine Chapel. The Sistine Chapel is, is about 10,000 square feet. That's, that's the size. You got the frescoes all the way up. Uh, the frescoes that Michelangelo did. There are other artists that, that did works there, but Michelangelo did the ceiling and did, of course, the large uh, Last Judgment on one of the sidewalls. Um, and you got 15 minutes, and you got a lot of people in there, 2,000 people at every given time, screaming and yelling, no picture taking, very militant. There are a lot of guards. They, if you even think about taking a photo, they'll take your phone or, or, or camera. So, um, and so when I went through this uh, about 10 years ago, I, of course, you have to see the originals and so forth, but you know, you look up and the, and the frescoes look almost like a big stamp and you're rushed through and I just did not like the experience around it. So when I walked out and since we're in the business of presenting a lot of major art exhibitions and, and entertainment exhibitions, uh, I thought, wait a minute, if I can get the licensing rights and, and, and bring these frescoes to people to see them up close in the original size. People don't realize how big they are. 
you know, and uh, I think, you know, th that's when this whole idea, this whole concept was born. And, uh, uh, you know, Michelangelo spent almost five years up on scaffolding, never left, never left, on his knees, on his back, for almost five years painting these. And, you know, now that you can see him up close, you know, you, you really understand how much work he must have put in there. And it was him alone with, a, with a, just a two or three assistants. That's amazing. Yeah. And so and when you're talking about these images that people are going to now see without the long lines and without the militant non-photo taking, right. uh, we're talking life size. This is how big it would be on the ceiling. Right. How many of these frescoes do we have here? We have all the ones that Michelangelo did. Uh, those are 33. Okay. And then, of course, we have The Last Judgment. You know, this exhibit is not only for, you know, faith-based communities and people. This is for everyone. Uh, if you're, you know, a Jewish community, uh, Christian, of course, uh, even if you're an atheist, you want to come because it is art history. Amazing exhibit. That exhibit opens today, by the way. Gerald R. Ford Presidential Museum. Tours that take about 60 to 90 minutes, so leave yourself a good chunk of time. You can learn more and purchase tickets at chapelsistine.com and just search for Grand Rapids.